On April 30, 2025, Andre underscore BT, a well-known defense analyst on the X platform, formerly Twitter, reported that the Russian defense enterprise, Fakel Machine Building Design Bureau, has developed a new anti-UAV missile tailored specifically to counter the growing threat of small unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Fikel, known for its legacy in designing some of Russia's most advanced air defense systems, such as the OSA, TOR, and S-300, has shifted its focus to fill a critical capability gap on the modern battlefield. The interception of low-cost, low-speed, mini-class drones used for reconnaissance, artillery correction, and loitering munitions, including kamikaze drones. While highly capable against conventional threats such as aircraft, helicopters, and precision-guided munitions, the Russian military's current air defense architecture faces significant limitations when addressing the proliferation of small, inexpensive UAVs. Although technologically advanced, systems like the Panzer S-1, Tor M-2, and Buck M-3 are costly to operate and maintain. Their missiles, such as the 9M330, 9M338, and similar variants, were never optimized for short-range engagements against small, slow, or hovering aerial targets. These systems also operate with a high-speed missile profile, which introduces a minimum engagement range and reaction time that makes it difficult to effectively neutralize drones flying at low altitude and velocity in close proximity to ground forces. Furthermore, the economic asymmetry between these high-cost interceptors and low-cost commercial or semi-commercial drones presents a strategic vulnerability. On the front lines in Ukraine and other modern conflict zones, mass-produced or modified commercial drones costing a few hundred dollars can disrupt artillery accuracy, conduct real-time surveillance, and deliver explosive payloads. Using a missile that costs tens of thousands of dollars to shoot down a $500 drone is not only unsustainable but also depletes valuable air defense inventories that are needed for higher tier threats. Recognizing this imbalance, the development of Fakel's anti-UAV missile responds directly to the need for a scalable, cost-efficient, and lightweight solution to neutralize mini-drones in a tactical environment. This new system deviates from traditional missile architecture by adopting a drone-like configuration. It features an X-shaped airframe with electric pusher propellers, folding wings for compact storage, and an inertial navigation system combined with an optoelectronic homing head. This allows for flexible launch profiles, both vertical and inclined, and precise mid-course corrections based on target movement. The missile's lightweight construction, 20 to 35 times lighter than current ultra-short-range missiles, makes it ideal for tactical deployment. With the ability to pack three to five transport and launch containers into a soldier's standard loadout under 10 kilograms, it becomes a truly man-portable air defense tool. This empowers infantry units at the squad and platoon level with an organic counter-drone capability, reducing dependence on larger air defense assets. Additionally, the production cost of this missile is estimated to be 20 to 25 times lower than that of existing interceptors in the Russian arsenal. This affordability facilitates mass production and allows for a distributed deployment model across frontline units, closing the gap between strategic air defense systems and localized drone threats.
The introduction of such a system suggests that Russia has recognized the evolving nature of aerial threats and is adapting its defense industrial strategy accordingly. Rather than relying solely on high-tier systems, the integration of low-cost, flexible anti-drone solutions reflects a pragmatic shift toward layered and adaptive defense. As drone warfare becomes an enduring feature of modern combat, Fakal's innovation represents a timely and necessary evolution in Russia's air defense doctrine. It ensures that tactical units are equipped to address a wide spectrum of threats, from advanced guided weapons to the most rudimentary UAVs now shaping the realities of conflict. According to reports, the new drone is being designed with high-speed interception capabilities, potentially using advanced radar systems, onboard targeting, and rapid maneuverability to engage aerial threats. Unlike traditional air defense systems that rely on costly surface-to-air missiles, interceptor UAVs offer a reusable, cost-effective solution to counter mass drone attacks. Both Russian and Ukrainian forces have increasingly relied on UAVs for intelligence gathering and precision strikes, leading to a race to develop countermeasures. Ukraine has fielded new counter-drone platforms, including interceptors capable of physically ramming enemy UAVs or using electronic warfare to disable them mid-flight. Russia's latest development appears to follow a similar strategy, aiming to enhance air defense capabilities against swarming drone attacks, The introduction of a dedicated high-speed interceptor UAV would mark a shift in how Russia approaches drone warfare, rather than solely relying on electronic warfare or conventional air defenses. Such a system could provide a dynamic and adaptable solution against incoming UAVs. While details on the prototype remain limited, military analysts suggest the project reflects a broader trend in modern warfare where low-cost high-speed interceptors are being developed to neutralize the growing threat posed by UAVs.